Hi friends, what's up? I'm Deep Basu and I'm back and I'm going to review the latest series called Chamak which is live on Sony Live. It's a six part series. Each episode is for one hour. Don't worry. It's quite an interesting uh, musical thriller and it, the one hour episode will not somewhat divert your mind or will be boring. It's quite a well made uh, series. And it's been directed by the very reputed uh, director called Rohit Chugraj. I'm sure most of you have followed, even you have watched his uh, Bollywood films. He has made films like Superstar. He has made films like James. And apparently he's quite a reputed and successful uh, director in Punjab. He has made a film called Sardar Ji. He won Sardar Ji too. Anyway, coming back to the film, Chamak. Chamak, the series is loosely based on the life and especially the assassination of the legendary folk singer, Punjabi folk singer called Amar Singh Chamkila. And it's a fiction, it's partly fiction, it's loosely based. And apparently, Imtiaz Ali is also making a film based on the life and the assassination of Amar Singh Chamkila, where I think you've seen Chamkila is the name of the movie, and is the main character is Amar Singh Chamkila is played by Diljit. But this uh, series, Chamak, is loosely based. So here, uh, actual, if you see the actual uh, incident, Chamkila, uh, Amar Singh Chamkila, the folk singer was actually murdered. His wife, while his performance was going on, he gets, his wife and him gets assassinated and his actual uh, killers were apparently not caught. But in this series now, uh, partly fiction, partly real, the killers are eventually caught. Okay, so let me get into the uh, review. So Chamak basically, the story begins introducing us to Kala. Kala is a young aspiring rapper staying in Canada. Due to certain unforeseen circumstances, he gets behind bars. He's been caught by the police. And one after the other, he gets into illegal activity. He gets into man assault. Then uh, due to his, uh, because of due to his friend's help, he has to escape and elope away to uh, Punjab. So now he, in Punjab, he comes to know that his father in Canada is not his father actually. It's his father's brother. And apparently in Punjab, he gets to know that he is actually the son of the legendary Tara Singh, the legendary folk singer who was mysteriously murdered. And who has actually killed him? So he basically embarks on a journey to find who actually killed his father. And uh, simultaneously, he's also trying to find his ground as a singer in Punjab and searching for his father's actual kill. And it's been many years. So overall, it's quite an interesting story. It's quite intriguing. The music is exquisite. And I was in two minds before watching it, but I enjoyed it. Especially the songs, the performances were quite above average. And uh, the only thing which lacked was the, the storytelling. The, the series, the first three episodes are quite compelling. After that, the last three episodes get a little, you know, aimless. The writer director doesn't know where the story is going. The few plot points introduced, which is going nowhere. Somewhat I feel that this series could deserve a better storytelling, uh, deserved a better narrative. And unfortunately, I won't give out spoilers, but you don't get to know who the actual killers were in season one. We need to wait for season two. I think that was a quite a smart uh, marketing move by the makers so that we wait, eagerly wait for the season two. What stands out is the songs, the music. We get to see not a lot, but few insights about the Punjab industry, though I was really wanted to see a lot more because I got to know that we get to see a lot of politics in the Punjab industry, which I we do, we do, we are not much privy to, though I was expecting a lot more. I think Urta Punjab that way was much deeper. They dwelled even deeper into the Punjab, the drugs. Here, they don't get much deep into it, at least the first season, season two. The performances by Paramveer, Paramveer Singh, who played the lead character of Kala, was good. He's quite impressive, especially his eyes. Uh, 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 what do you call I'm forgetting her name. 
Akasha Singh is quite a revelation. Manoj Pawar is brilliant. Isha Talwar is also superb. All the performances were quite uh, decent to above average. The songs stand out, but somehow I feel that the narrative could have been much better. But overall, uh, I would give it around uh, seven on ten. Uh, it's quite interesting. to begin with the first uh, three episodes are you're going to really be hooked and the good part about this uh, series is that right from the first few minutes you get so hooked you get so into the series na you you are unable to you know move so i 